Hey guys, Bobby here. I just wanted to show some concealed carry options. Uh, this is a majority of what I carry right here, uh, just depending on what I'm wearing. Um, you know, if I'm wearing a, a shirt, a hoodie, uh, like an Under Armour t shirt or a, a polo. But uh, this is actually what I was carrying today Car PM9. You see everything is uh, unloaded, but I uh, also just want to show you know some some of the different uh, different ways to carry it. Here's a car PM9, really light gun. I uh, enjoy shooting it. I'm sure if you've seen videos on it, uh, great double action trigger. It's double action only. Uh, give you guys a good look at it. Here's car PM9. Sorry, I put talon grips on on all my. Uh, all my guns. You can see the talon grips have nice cutouts so that you keep all the symbols and everything. Um, this is a great gun. I could have got the CM9 but I, I decided to go with the PM9. I think the finish is just a little nicer. Um, I mean some of you guys know I'm a, I'm a knife collector so you know uh, some of the small finishes and stuff are you know I, I appreciate them. So uh, you know, I'm, obviously I'm willing to pay a little extra for it. Uh, here's my SIG P238. I, I, I wear this uh, quite a bit if I'm just wearing a, you know, like a, a, a more fitted type of t-shirt. So that way I'm not printing or anything. Uh, love the sights on this. Let's check out the sights. It has night sights standard. You know, it's a two-finger gun, but I... I don't, this doesn't bother me any. I, I don't need that to shoot. Single action only. As I carry it cocked and locked, you know. That's how you're supposed to do it. The very first gun I ever carried was a 1911. <laughs> I can still carry the 1911. I mean, you hear so many stories about that, right? I can still carry a 1911. <laughs> and sure enough, that's, that's the very first gun uh, I actually bought and, and I can still carry it. Here's a, you know, if I just want to throw this in a, if I'm, if I'm just going somewhere, just throw this in a pocket. You know, I got my little pocket holster for it. That's usually what I, I just use, and I just put this in a, my, you know, if I'm just have a jacket pocket or something. And then I got the little laser max on it, so as you can see, it works pretty well. Uh, I do like the the one with the pressure. Uh, I forgot what it's called. But yeah, I I actually had I had it on a I used to have a bread and nano, but I ended up giving it away. But uh, got the talon grips on there too. So for the grips, I really like for anything that I, I'm gonna conceal carry. Even though here's here's my newest my newest gun is uh my Smith and Wesson M and P shield. I really like this gun. You see, I put the granulate, uh, the granulate uh, talon grips on it, which I, I do like a lot. I mean, for shooting wise, you can't beat this grip. However, it sticks to your shirt. <laughs> so when it's in my shirt, and like if I move or something, because the texture is so rough and grippy, it will grip your shirt, and I mean, you, it prints quite a bit. <laughs> Because it just grabs your shirt, but uh, I mean I still like it. I, I ended up I ordered the You know the, the rubber ones for this, but uh M&P shield this fits great. I Mean it's thin. It's just as thin as the PM9 as you can see uh, Here let me try to get behind this camera but I mean you can see the difference right there in handle and you, you know handle makes I mean handle makes quite a bit of difference so this shows a little bit more when it's under my shirt but not enough I mean if I'm wearing a polo you can you can carry this all day but if I'm wearing you know anything else even a polo this is quite a bit lighter and as you guys know uh, I mean you want it to be light because if it's light you know, you're more likely to carry it, in my opinion. 
Uh, you know, some I know some guys that they're willing to, you know, carry carrying you know bigger guns, and I I think that's great. But uh, you know, for me, I, this is this is what I choose to carry. But uh, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, also here's all my holsters. As you can see, they're all Warthog gear. I, I really like Warthog gear holsters. Um, you know, I, I've went to other websites and stuff, and I mean, they're talking eight to twelve weeks for a holster. When you first buy a gun, to me, you know, I, I'm one of those people. I get so excited. I want stuff now. And Warthog holsters, I mean, they are super fast. You order, there is no such thing as eight to twelve weeks. Uh, you know. You'll get your your products pretty quick, and uh, I really like it. I mean, obviously, as you can tell, almost all my holsters. This is my newest one. Here's Glock 27. If I wear a hoodie or something, you know, this is this is what I choose to carry. Uh, Glock 27. Uh, it's, you know, nice size. It's a little thicker than uh, some of these other. Here's a PM9 in comparison. But I mean, it's, it's a little, it's a little thicker. But you'd be surprised that that little bit of thickness there makes quite a bit of difference. You know, sights, standard Glock sights, as you can see. And I'm sure you guys the PM9 sights, but it has, you know, you gotta line it up like that. But this is a good gun too. I've taken it to the range and shot that quite a bit. Uh, Glock, you can't beat a Glock. <laughs> I mean, this is a, uh, you know, it's a workhorse. You can take this to the range, fire it a ton of times, not clean it, and you, I have confidence in this. This will fire every time. Uh, you know, I, I chose to go 40 because if, if I'm going to carry something this size, I, I want a higher caliber. You know, I could have got the 26, and I could still get it, but, uh, to me, uh, I don't think I'd get it because I own that uh, MMP shield, and I know they sell the shield in 40 caliber, but you know I love my Glocks. Uh, this is uh, Warthog Gear's newest uh, holsters. It's the Quick Tuck, I think, is what they call it, but uh, I can't remember. You know, you just you can just pop this right into your belt line, and I mean that doesn't get faster than that. Draws excellent, retention's excellent. I mean, I love I love this holster. I'm actually gonna get a couple more of these holsters. I really like it. Uh, I mean, I love those holsters too. I'm gonna have a combo. I mean, just in case, as uh, these, you know, and it take a little more time to put on. I mean, they they are more comfortable. I do like these, but these just for the quickness, everything else. They're both handy. That's why I'm probably gonna get them both. But yeah, you know, showed you guys the Sig. Uh, last but not least, right? The XDS. I do have the 45 XDS. There is a recall out on this gun right now for any of you guys that own a XDS. You know, it's a pretty simple, simple process. Just go to their website. I think they have a, or even Google XDS recall, and you go to that web page, you enter your serial number, and they'll, you know, from there, they just, they send you the shipping label, everything else, just ship it to them, and, you know, you get it back, and it just has to be, you know, adult home, or whatever, you go pick it up from FedEx if, if it, uh, you know, if it, if you don't get it. I like this gun quite a bit too. I like that front sight. And for a 45, I mean, you know, some days you just feel like carrying a 45. And of course, uh, you know, I got the talent grips on it. I do look, like I said, I, look, I do like talent grips. You know, I, I, saw, I saw Hickok talking about it a bunch on his videos, and and you know, I ended up. I ended up just picking it up so and I, I do like it it is really good uh, I like that safety on there I mean it's not bad you know uh, I keep it holstered also has that, that Glock uh, 
Glock like trigger. But so those are those are my main concealed carry options. Uh, like I said, this is this is my newest. So obviously that's my newest holster too. I haven't uh, tightened that screw down, but they send you Loctite to Loctite these, and I, I haven't uh, Loctited it yet, but I probably won't. <laughs> that, but yeah, I mean I I do like these holsters quite a bit. You can't beat that. Uh, you wear it. You know, it breaks in. You wear it like after a day, the leather just gets soft and it's comfortable. But those are my main concealed carry options right there. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.